Welcome back to Storytime with Anne Marie and our series on St. Patrick's Day. Today's book, St. Patrick's Day, by Gail Gibbons. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated each year on March 17th. This holiday is celebrated by the Irish and other people in many parts of the world. They honor St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. St. Patrick lived many years ago. He was born in Britain around the year 380 and raised in a Christian family. His parents didn't name him Patrick. Some people believe his name was Maywin. While still a boy, he was kidnapped and brought to Ireland where he was made a slave. His captors forced him to herd sheep. He prayed that God would help him. Six years later, he escaped. After finally arriving back in Britain, he lived quietly, thought and prayed. He realized what he wanted to do. He had dreams of returning to Ireland to teach the people about God. He went to France to study religion. In the year 432, the head of the Catholic Church, the Pope, named him Patricius, the Latin name for Patrick. He became a priest and then a bishop. At last, Bishop Patrick's dreams came true. He sailed back to Ireland and began preaching. He built churches and schools all over the country. People noticed his kind ways and trusted him. Bishop Patrick spent the rest of his life caring for the Irish people. They loved this kind man. People honor Patrick on March 17th because he died on that date in the year 461. Later, the Catholic Church made him a saint, St. Patrick. Today, many things are done to celebrate this holiday. People go to church to give thanks to St. Patrick for his work in Ireland. People have fun too. They dress in green to honor an ancient Irish custom. Hundreds of years ago, the people of Ireland burned branches with green leaves during the month of March and spread the ashes in fields to make them fertile and green. To wear green is to honor Ireland, the Emerald Isle. Decorations are put on doors and windows. Shamrocks appear everywhere. The shamrock is a plant that has three leaves and looks like clover. It is the symbol of St. Patrick as well as of Ireland. Leprechauns are remembered on St. Patrick's Day. Long ago, some Irish folk believed in these little magic creatures. It was thought if you caught a leprechaun, you could make him lead you to a pot of gold. Leprechaun comes from the old Irish word lugorpan meaning we won. People believed they were only as big as your thumb. There is the shillelagh too. In Ireland many years ago, there was an old oak forest called shillelagh. The Irish liked to own a sprig of shillelagh, a short oak club from the forest. Often, people decorate shillelaghs with green ribbons. The harp is one of the oldest musical instruments and has been popular with the Irish people since early times. It serves as another St. Patrick's Day decoration. On St. Patrick's Day, people may give cards to their families and friends. People also make cakes, cookies, and goodies to share with others. Some people give flowers. Others wear green carnations or pin shamrocks to their clothes to celebrate the holiday. There may be St. Patrick's Day plays too. 
Some families and friends have quiet times together in remembrance of St. Patrick. Often there are meals to share. St. Patrick's Day parties are given too. It is fun to sing Irish songs, dance Irish jigs and play games. In many places there are St. Patrick's Day parades. Flags flutter in the wind, pipers and fiddlers play Irish tunes. There are green hats, people in costumes, green banners, lots of green. The first time St. Patrick's Day was celebrated in the United States was in 1737 in Boston. Each year, the Irish and many other people love to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. For many people, it is a day for worship and for celebration. And if you're not Irish, to feel a little bit Irish. Legends about St. Patrick. St. Patrick and the Snakes It is said that St. Patrick got rid of all the snakes in Ireland. By beating his drum, he frightened them into the sea. Today, there are no snakes in Ireland. St. Patrick and the Poison Some people say that a wizard tried to kill St. Patrick by putting poison in his drink. St. Patrick quickly turned it into ice and tossed it from his cup. St. Patrick and his cloak. It is said that St. Patrick had a friend who borrowed his cloak. There was a big fire where the friend was staying, but he was not hurt because he was wearing St. Patrick's cloak. St. Patrick and the Shamrock. St. Patrick used the shamrock to explain to people about the Holy Trinity one God and three divine beings, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Growing at his feet was a shamrock. He used this plant to explain three in one, one stem with three leaves. St. Patrick and the Fish Another legend is that each year on March 17th, fish rise from the sea. They pass before St. Patrick's altar in Ireland and then disappear back into the sea. St. Patrick and the Sunset It is said that the sun didn't set when St. Patrick died and that it shone in the sky for 12 days and nights. And that completes our story about St. Patrick. I do hope you enjoyed that and maybe understand the legends as well. And if you did like that, don't forget, click subscribe so that you can join us for more story time with Anne Marie.